Squad, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare of and you're watching Mission Boxing today. Heavyweight Boxing fans, what's the deal? I wanted to get my quick opinion about the uh, presser I just saw, Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Back-to-back uh, -back pressers out there in Saudi, man. So, shouts out to Saudi, shouts out to uh, His Excellency, and shouts out to the Royal Highness Crown Prince for getting these these heavyweight cards together, man. So, uh, at this rate, I don't think we'll, you know, we'll get big fights here uh, in the U.S. or over there in the U.K. anymore, man. If uh, the Saudi's going to be able to step in with uh, this truckload full of cash, man, and just lay it out and uh, get these guys to fight because... For the longest, man, we've been hearing, you know, excuse after excuse as to why, you know, even if you want to talk about like Spence and Crawford, which got done this year and, it, you know, it didn't happen. But just like that saga that went on for years and trying to get AJ and Fury or AJ and Wilder and, you know, stuff like that, man, you're we will always hear excuses from promoters and uh, their team about this guy doesn't put butts in seats or the fight doesn't make sense or we have to. Uh, obligation for a mandatory or uh, the or we're in talks but negotiations will pick up after the holidays are over or um, we're going over the network rights you know just all the stuff that was prolonging fights and uh, from, from not happening but that's neither here nor there man heavyweight undisputed is going down we haven't had a heavyweight champion man since 1999 the rematch between Holy Phil and Lennox Lewis now before I get into the press man let me just personalize this real quick just think, y'all, 1999. What were you doing in November of 1999 when Holyfield uh, fought Lennox Lewis in the rematch for Undisputed? Man, I had just turned 19 that month, and I was in my first semester of uh, my freshman year of college. Like, just personalize that. When I was sitting there uh, coming back home from the visit and watching the fight on pay-per-view at that fight party at my mom's house, could you imagine one of us just sitting there saying, well, you know what, man? Um... You better enjoy this one because we're not going to have another undisputed champion until February of 2024. Wouldn't that sound crazy? But anyways, man, watching the presser, uh, you know, Tyson Fury is being Tyson Fury. You know, bombastic, charismatic person that he is. But the shit talking in this one, though, Usyk really doesn't. It's hard to use that on Usyk because, he's, you know, he speaks broken English. He just really doesn't give in any of that. And to be honest with you, I think the funniest thing that's been said between the two of them over the you know uh, past you know months uh, has been Usyk calling Fury greedy belly. You know, I thought <laughs> I thought I thought that was the uh, probably the funniest thing. But you know, Fury's in there today, man. You know, calling him uh, Usyk little sausage and run little. I think was he calling him a little rabbit or some something like that. But run little man, run, and he keeps going off of how small. Usyk is and I'm like dude I mean yeah he's shorter than you and you outweigh him but it's not like Usyk is is 5'10 you know what I mean dude you know so we'll we'll see when they get in the ring man but um it's gonna be a little bit harder for Usyk to win the war of I mean, not Usyk I'm sorry Fury to win the war of words going into this fight because Usyk really doesn't give him what he's looking for he doesn't he doesn't get back at him and, and Fury tried hard you know I'm gonna whoop your ass and he tried to you know throw some swear words in there and it just really didn't go over well you know what I mean? But um, Fury was being Fury, so uh, he wasn't acting any different, and Usyk was being his cool, calm, collected self. Um, I wonder if they're going to stack this undercard up, though, man, like they did uh, the Wilder and um, the Wilder and AJ big card that's going down on December 23rd. Um, I was thinking to myself, like, because this, this fight's going to take place in February, but I was thinking to myself, like, man, like, shit, they probably they ain't no, they ain't no more heavyweights left to fight. Or to pair together because you know Wilder and, and uh, the AJ card uh, with Wilder and Parker, they took they took all of them heavyweights. But I was just thinking, man, maybe if uh, this is a big if because I think this is a, a, a it's going to be a close fight with him and Miller. But maybe if Daniel Dubois were to somehow get Jarrell Miller out of there in a round or two, maybe he can have a quick turnaround and be on the card in February. But I would love to see it packed with other heavyweight fights. So. I don't know, man, maybe like a Bacole versus uh, Michael Hunter rematch or something. I'm just throwing names out there. Uh, Jarrell, Big Baby Miller, you got Ruiz, you got Joe Laloff, uh, Fabio Worley out there, maybe Joe Joyce return fight. Uh, Jermaine Franklin's out there, you throw him against one of the guys. Something, man, but I would love to see some more heavyweight fights on this card, but I am glad it is happening. Now, with this card, right, with, with this fight right here for Undisputed, 
coupled with the fights that are taking place December 23rd, I just hope and pray that no injuries occur before the fights, nobody pulls out, no BS is happening, because the Saudis are like, look, no more excuses. We're gonna lay the money down that y'all been wanting, now we're gonna see what happens. And they're taking the money, all right? So, and the Saudis, they say, hey man, you know, we'll erect a stadium, we'll get that all built, we'll bring over, uh, you don't have to worry about butts and seats, because we'll bring over the butts to put in the seats. We're gonna bring some celebrities in for some photo ops, former champions and fighters and sportsmen and entertainers, musicians, all that. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. Here's the money, do you wanna fight? No network, no, yeah, we, we don't wanna hear none of that. There ain't, there ain't no excuses. Here's the money, do you wanna fight? So I'm loving it, man. So if we don't get another big fight in the US or the UK, and the Saudis making all the big fights, I would love to go to one, man. I would love to go to another big heavyweight fight. Um, but uh, if they're gonna be in Saudi, man, and they're the ones that's making it happen, then so be it. We're just in a new era, you know what I mean? So, because even uh, Showtime is even boxing. It's just weird, man. Uh, you know, I'm 43, man. So just you know, growing up, uh, stuff that used to be regular is you know leaving now. You know, there's no more HBO, Showtime's even out of boxing. Um, just growing up watching like Tuesday night fights. I mean, that's been over with. But just. A lot of things is changing, man, going into apps and so on and so forth. Now Saudi is getting all the big fights, you know, so it is what it is, man. But y'all let me know what you think uh, in the comment section, man, about this presser. Uh, it, yesterday's presser with AJ and Wilder, even though they're not fighting each other, it was just surreal just seeing those guys in the same building. You had Jarrell Miller talking crazy to, to Dubois, and it was just crazy. That that one was crazy, but... Um, and another, then another thing, uh, the, the stuff that Tyson Fury was saying to Usyk, it was almost like everybody was kind of sitting there, because even I was looking at it, I'm like, yeah, I know what you're saying, Tyson, but bro, we didn't forget what happened last month, bro. Like, you you went tooth and nail with an MMA fighter, man, with Francis Ngannou. And shots out to Francis, but it's like, so some of this, this shit talking he was doing, I'm just thinking to myself, it's like, yeah. Bro, you just went tooth and nail to MMA guy in his first pro fight. You know what I mean? But, hey, styles make fights, though, man. And uh, I do think that Tyson Fury's mindset is going to be a lot different <clears throat> coming into this fight because he, he's going to train his ass off for this fight. Now, I say he didn't train for Francis, but his mindset is going to be, and he knows the danger is there. I don't think he thought there was going to be any danger with Francis. You know what I mean? Besides just the common one that you can get hit and get knocked, but just the danger of losing some rounds or – I don't think he was thinking about any of that. Well, this right here, I think his mind be completely different. It's, it's going to have to be because U6 is not somebody to play with, man. But um, I'll be doing more videos on this, man. I just want to give my quick initial thoughts about the presser. Um, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.